Hey everyone, Zayf here and welcome to Glassbreakers Overview. I had scheduled to release this as an early access clip though the access I got was while I was on vacation and then all the chaos emerged and still not finished so it is like what it is. A new update is literally around the corner and I'm coming out with the actual base game review. <laughs> cool. <laughs> So Glassbreakers is an arena-based real-time strategy game where using the known and unknown heroes of the world of Moss, you challenge other champions in a grid battle MOBA-like style to defeat them by breaking their glass and facing off the enemy's heroes. At first I was very confused what is it even about, like I know the series by now, it's just that it was never coming across to me as anything strategic cause I was thinking more like a Smash Bros of some sort. I was also seeing it as a turn-based system gameplay which we have a lack of with action points, buffs, debuffs and all of that. But no, this game is kind of like a MOBA game I guess where you control your troops and what's going on on the battlefield while just commanding the troops where they should go or what should they do. At first it's pretty hard to understand the mechanics, moreover there are like 8 tutorials to learn through so you definitely need some personal time with this project and really dig in and find out all the information available. I have nothing against the art style and just the polish because Polyarch is known to put out some quality stuff and the whole thing seems relatively smooth, it's just that I worry that there's not gonna be enough people to actually care for this maybe it's gonna change when it's gonna actually officially release one day on the store problem is you never know when that could happen so up until then you can just power through the game and <laughs> crush the opponents later I guess it is something a little bit different and out of ordinary what we've been getting recently personally I'm like mediocre based kind of excited though anything that this company does for me eventually works out so let's go Break some glass. Welcome, welcome. There's so much to show you. The game of glass requires technique, tenacity, and teamwork. Let's see if you're ready. I don't know if I like the 360. I mean, some things are 3D, but it's like the castle is low quality and the other stuff which is a bit unusual for most type of like series I'm currently at the base Okay. Grip the side button and move your hands up and down. Oh, not like the controller, but... Wait, what? I guess like that? <laughs> It's a bit weird movement. <laughs> Learn this and you'll be quite the challenge. Lean on me, squad! Move your champion, first grab them by pressing Google controller. You betcha. Ah, uh -huh, like that, okay. So it's an like turn based strategy game, which it's my thing. <laughs> Normally I just don't look up anything about the game and just go with it, so... That's why I'm surprised. Over my shoulder. Stay safe, squad! Honor! 
Oh, it's like the active strategy. RTS. Not on my watch. Prepare yourself. Don't. Why he went there? Quite impressive. The board is yours. Take all the time you need. No use in waiting. Now you'll feel it. Your champion has full energy, you're about to use their ability. Cover. Banger. Pity. I'm still wondering, is it turn-based or active power and stuff? In the normal gameplay we'll see, cause the tutorial just stops by. Doing quite well. Learn this, and you'll be quite the challenge. Not feeling this. Okay, that's pretty handy. Ooh. I imagine I would be doing that unless there's gonna be like a special action. All on one? That's not fair. Your mistake. I like the animations. Brilliant. Pretty smooth. Now you feel it. You betcha. Excellent work. There it is. Glass. You see, glass contains an ancient magic. The means to ally with the most fascinating, heroic, and infamous champions from all of the books of Moss. Break it, and the game is yours. And I'm assuming those are towers. So it's kind of like a MOBA, I guess? Because it's an arena, and then you have your champions. Pretty much. But I wonder what happens when the champion like dies or gets defeated for more family friendly <laughs> topic. I'm assuming they respawn after some time, so it's just better to get back then to here. I feel like it's just better to attack everyone at once, so then they'll have like a big spawner time. Oh yeah, here. Come back here. I can't attack with abilities the towers, I think. And how fast they activate. Yes, it's also a bit of an aiming method. Sucks. 
some are just stuck in animation. Yeah, so I would imagine just defeat first the champions. Okay, whatever that was. <laughs> I think it's like a finisher move and it resets when someone gets defeated. I'll try to split them, I don't know. They're going in uh, weird directions because they first go to his locations but he's not there anymore so there's not like a clever pathing. And what he does like... Protection. With MOBAs and just like, you know, strategy games, I prioritize information and get into know the mechanics, like then it's just easier to function. Well done. Just wait. They'll be vying for someone like you. And know this. Everything you do will pay off sixfold for your chosen allies, whether they know it or not. Interesting. I must say, it's quite exciting to have you here. Poke around as curiosity suits. This is just the place to learn and explore. Then, as soon as you're ready, go on and hop right in. A game of glass awaits. Different tutorials. Right, champion abilities, but... Quickly knock out champions with large health pools. Ah, this is like a percentage based thing? Cause we have like... Levels, I guess? Low health and then... Increase the damage. I didn't notice when they were like... Leveling up or something. And those are like skins, I guess? There's a lot of stuff going on for like an app lab game. <laughs> I think I'll just play one match and try to figure out something by myself and then I'll just read more but with the dynamic it's like you really need to know what's going on <laughs> essentially. I think this against player No. Just by looking at the head movement. So I'll just wait and see. I trust you know my work. Oh. Down, never out. It's like a control point. Flow. A little something to sway this battle. <laughs> on stuck squad. Wait, what's going on? Now you will see. What are you collecting? That's why I had to learn more in the tutorials. We are still here. Tiger! Key! 
are finished. A shocking sway of play. Outstanding. What? Now's the time. Attack their glass. Right. I'll kill him. <laughs> I could have gone. I'll just back him. No, no, back up. Because he needs to take damage. I think those are like glyphs or something. It's that time. <laughs> the spray is in play. Can do. Sweet like pie. I protect my own. HP. Snuggle up, squad. I can't hold much longer. You saw nothing. I see now the little icons with the buffs. Retreat. Okay, but I have to finish here essentially, but it's pretty interesting, like definitely there is some kind of thought process going into it and polish with the art style and the models. I mean, it's poly arc, so I expect no less. Maybe the environment from a distance could be a bit better. I mean, it's just like layered stuff from the series. I definitely need to learn <laughs> different kinds of tutorials before I go into a proper match because there was more stuff going on than in this basic tutorial but like this is a lot how many eight just to begin to understand how the actual game works I'm just wondering if there's like an enough number of people that will be interested in VR MOBA there were very popular at the time, I mean I was playing them as well. But it's hard to tell if this one, even though it seems polished, will like become an instant hit on the store. It's definitely not basic and I'll see what's gonna be the progress with it. I'm definitely curious about it, I just need to make sure to do some deep and proper research about everything here. <laughs>